You're the governor's son, right? I... Uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Or they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. <sighs> so many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honored. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. So tell me, Lammy, what do you do? Uh, what? How do you spend your days? I assist my father, especially with the ghost wards. That keeps me very busy. When I can, I continue my research into the mysteries of life. Wildlife, mostly. If I can find any. Those that aren't dead have left New Eden. Who can blame them? Must be hard, being the governor's son and all. Is it? I don't know. I've never been anyone else's son. Hard to grow up in his shadow, I would have thought. Only if you like the attention, not me. I just want to read books and learn stuff. People leave me alone, mostly. I like that. Mostly. Those ghost wards are quite unique. They are, aren't they? Conceived by Etienne Roulet, but made by my father. Do you use them as well in your line of work? Not really. I mostly talk to ghosts. I don't repel them. Of course. Still, each tool has its purpose, and these troubled times we need all the tools we can get. Magic is glorious when wielded by the righteous. You seem to know a lot about it. Uh, oh, if only, sir, if only. I'm still learning. Many of the subtleties and nuances escape me yet. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, Mr. McGrath. I'd wish you the same if I knew your name, sir. Ishmael Law. I have seen you in the meeting house. I have recognized the markings on your hands. I would have liked to have been a banisher, to track over the mysteries of our world. That must be something. Have you noticed by chance any strange behavior hereabouts? Our village has suffered much loss of late. Many of my neighbors have seen the disease take their loved ones. They get sick. And you never see them again. Maybe you hear them moan as you pass their house. But then the moaning stops. In times like these, pray tell, if a person was behaving strangely, how could I possibly tell? I'm sorry, but I can tell from the look in your eye you've someone in mind. Watson, the shoemaker. Perhaps because of illness, or through the loss of his loved ones, but whatever has befallen the poor man, uh, he seems to have lost his mind. Tell me about folk round here. A vast subject that requires, perhaps, a more specific question. Tell me about Lamentation Haskell. Nice boy. Very secretive. 
I do not understand the things he says. Fortunately, he does not say them to me. <laughs> Tell me about Governor Haskell. A man like me does not get to know a man like him. He is a man of faith. We all trust him. That's all I can say. How about you? How are you feeling? Hmm. I've not been asked this in a long time. I am feeling... a bizarre conflict between faith in the Lord and sheer unholy terror. You wanted to be a banisher? That's unusual. As a child, I met a banisher. I was impressed by the marks on his hands, the assurance in his demeanor. He made me feel safe. You do God's work, though you know it or not. Like Charles Davenport, I respected the minister a great deal. He's a terrible loss. You wanted to become a banisher. Why didn't you? I got married instead. Came to New England. Ruined everything. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. Give us this day our daily bread. Our bread, not our ale. Our bread! Do you want us to starve? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow. You know it full well. If you want yeast, then grow your own. Just stick some in a jar and grow it, and you'll have it forever. Now there is none, and it's my fault. Food is a staple, and drink is a luxury. Give me the yeast. Ah, oh, the famed and famous banisher, the one and only Red McRaith. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness gives me the shits. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Now then, what's your pleasure? So, have you noticed any strange behaviour of late? Apart from my own? Yes. So much so that now I am almost normal. Caleb Watson, for example. Now he, my friend, is really strange. Is he now? He used to be such a nice man. Now he's aggressive and he smells like the Christmas cat at Easter. Where can I find Caleb Watson? Well, now, seeing as he's our cobbler, you'll find him in his workshop. May I see your wares? I'm a shopkeeper, aren't I? Yes, you may see my wares. Till we meet again. You mind your good self, do you? Caleb Watson. We keep hearing that name. Let's pay him a visit. Looks like we found the cobbler's shop. Smells even worse here. Holy sh it's justice. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh, there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now, out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sunny demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. 
The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Tell me a tale. What have you heard round about lately that might be of interest? Gossips for shite bags. Not being a shite bag, I don't gossip. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. Don't go there. Fear not. They'll bugger off soon. They both will. Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Alexander and Ruth Watson. Theirs are missing. I wonder why. <laughs> Feels terrible, doesn't it? Dare brief my bond down house? Why keep it here? What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Ishmael Law said Watson lost his wife and brother. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. You've done enough sniffing, hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You're not taking head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's Bond debris out back. I found Bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. 
You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past, the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you, too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried. I buried all. Quiet, you. And you can shite off. Taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Talking to Caleb felt like talking to a group. I'm thinking possession. Possession is plausible, but the clues are confusing. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre? God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. if you need it. There's more of... Oh, 
have some of this. That corpse is gonna shoot. Is that a female? I think I see a patella. Lovely. Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it. Corpse is taking aim. Ready and waiting. If undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on earth that suits whatever did this. Decoys to distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did, and he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way, more of them. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Demonology. I should have known.
This fella again. He's persistent. I'll grant him that. Don't just stand there. Move! They never learn, do they? It's stronger now. Brace yourself. There's more of them. Giving it all you've got. What's that thing have? Be ready. Have another insight. Oh, I don't like this. Bust. Oh, I hate those things. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. Shrines now? With bones. It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. A ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. Oh, there, fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. I feel something close. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual.
Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. This isn't over yet. Move, Red. How sure are we that the ritual will work? Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? No. Not now, not ever. The ritual shall work, and all shall be well. I promise. Give us this day our daily bread, our bread, not our ale, our bread. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us. Shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back, and I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, 
A poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know. If you don't know it already, I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I know you failed, right? Look at yourself. Smell yourself. You can't live a life in that state. That's my never mind, not yours. If you don't like the smell, you can shite off. I'll not make our lives your business. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. And where was Caleb while all this was happening? He was there. He stood rooted in place, frozen in fear. And then it was too late. He could do nothing but watch us burn. Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come Ruth to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost, Ty, we can talk to her. that burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris.
Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? Beware, wards. I'm at your side again. Whoa. I know. I must be nearby. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. them, like a bushel of rotting corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You! A ghost went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die. I'm in charge here. No. Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. 
Help me. Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. No more. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? <sighs> it tore me in two. I loved Alexander, but I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother, but I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. I should have known. Always watch out for the quiet ones. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay! Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Alexander, yours is no romantic fable. There is no moral to this tale. You're a hostage taker, nothing more. No, Caleb can go to hell, for he well deserves it. But Ruth and I are in love. Greedy men fight over a woman as if she were a thing. I'm done with that old story. Time to tell a better tale. Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. 
Thank you. Be gone. Alexander loved Ruth like a man loves his hat. Love a woman like a thing and he do not love her at all. Ruth deserved better, in life and in death. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Our love story shall have a better ending. I... Someone inside's hard at work. Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So, what are you waiting for? Don't you want to hear the name? I do not need to. The principle is what matters. Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps, but he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. Since when has the governor required proof? I'll get it. Mark me. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Here, yeah. take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. He was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who's he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him.
Hell's balls. What happened here? Something's emanating from under there. No wonder this place is off limits. Dodge it if you can. Did we miss a few? Make a run for it! You shouldn't stay in there. Don't just stand there. Move! Try this on! One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. Beware, wards. I can't help you. Picked and culled. Red, I can't manifest any more. There you are. Here I am. Feel a draft from the invisible. This isn't over yet. Why do I get the feeling that we're sitting ducks?
Have some of that. I feel something close. My mate, you here? This is locked from the other side. He was studying botany. Why botany? requires a key. Aralu, mean anything to you? Not a thing. He mentioned an old mill. Seemed fascinated by the place. The incisions are clean. The precision of an expert. There's magic here, though. Faint. Nothing incriminating yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. Have another in sight. Oh, 
away with you. Get out of there. Watch out. Spectre possession. Did we miss a few? That spectre's looking for a body. Move it! Can I join in too? Why a mill? Away from the village. Perfect for his research. Perfect to hide secrets. He's not out here for pleasure, that's for sure. Peaceful. Like home on a good day. <laughs> that was hilly, mine. He felt like playing with the lambs. Blair preferred to feed them. And I was too busy dreaming. And you? Oh, I cooked them for dinner. The lambs, I mean. Oh, the girls were furious. Yes, but they weren't hungry. like this spectral nest is just waiting for my intervention. Warp. Watch out! Spectre possession! They never learn, do they? Call on me! Should we expect up there? A gateway to the mythical Aralu, whatever that is. Otherwise, terrible tragedy, dark doings, sick secrets, and a wild guess. Thank you. Anytime.
Did we miss a few? To do this myself. Sit down. Looks derelict. Is he really inside? Someone's left us a fire camp to use. <laughs> <laughs> 